Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, viewers. I'm talking from St. Elizabeth Hospital and Fertility Center, situated at Transeco Renewable. And we'll be coming up with uh, our public lectures, our educational series, and then uh, we'll call it St. Elizabeth uh, Educational Series and Lectures. So very soon, a lot of them will be unfolding, but I just want to give an overview of what to expect and then what to be getting from us. So uh, we'll be starting our lecture series, we'll be starting with fertility, or infertility or sub-fertility, okay? So, um, uh, infertility, another infertility, we look at general infertility, general causes of infertility, and then treatment, okay? Then we're now going to space fitting in infertility, we look at male factor infertility, we look at female factor infertility, under male factor infertility, we'll be looking at uh, obstructive causes and non-obstructive causes of male factor infertility. And the treatment options, you know, that's available for them. Then uh, we'll look at uh, female factor infertility, we'll look at uh, an ovulatory factor, uh, which is very common for the cystic ovarian syndrome, and so many other things that can cause an ovulatory uh, infertility. Then we look at uterotuber factor infertility. And then uterotuber, we look at tuber factors, we look at uterine factors, infertility, and a very common cause of uh, IVF failures uh, worldwide. So, and again, I've also given a back to hysteroscopy and made it quite popular in all over the world. So, then we look at cervical factor infertility. Okay. Then we will look at unexplained infertility, what is it all about? And having done that, we look at um, um, other things, management options for infertility, we look at the novel uh, um, options that we have currently, we look at minimal access surgeries, we look at uh, the laparoscopic surgeries, diagnostic laparoscopic surgeries, therapeutic laparoscopic surgeries, we look at hysteroscopy, Diagnostic hysteroscopy, therapeutic hysteroscopy, there are so many things you can do with hysteroscopy, you know, just to make the uterus, you know, very favorable to be able to uh, allow uh, embryos to implant. So we also uh, we have to, also, after we are done with that, we look at other gynecological things that can lead to infertility. We look at uterine fibroid, which is very common. We look at uh, endometriosis, which is also very common. We look at um, uh, other areas in gynecology, we look at gynecology, we look at oncology, we look at um, fetal maternal medicine and obstetrics, and some basic things. So these are our lecture series that are coming up. So we are going to be so loaded, we are going to be so informative, so educative, and so thrilling. And uh, I give you to, to stay tuned with us. I'm going to give you value for your time. Thank you very much.